the next remark all these remarks can be proved but i am just giving as a <coughs> remark it is for the understanding the next remark <coughs> let x be a continuous type random variable let x be a continuous type random variable with cdf capital f of x if the expectation x exists that means the provided condition is satisfied then you can always find the value of expectation of x that is e of x that is a integration 0 to infinity 1 minus f of x dx minus minus infinity to 0 f of x dx this is a very important result whenever you have a continuous type random variable with the cdf uh, capital f of x and uh, the expectation exists then you can always uh, find the value with the help of CDF. You do not need uh, the probability density function of that continuous type random variable. From the definition of uh, expectation, when x is a continuous type random variable, if you know the probability density function, if the expectation exists, exist, then E of x is same as minus infinity to infinity x times f of x dx where that small f of x that is a probability density function. But now what I am saying is uh, we do not need a probability density function with the help of CDF itself you can able to find the expectation provided it exists. Let me give a one uh, um, nice uh, uh, pictorial representation of uh, how to compute the expectation for this when x is a continuous type random variable. Recall when x is a continuous type random variable, the CDF is the continuous function in the whole real line from minus infinity to infinity. When x is a continuous type random variable, the CDF of the continuous type random variable is a continuous function in the whole real line minus infinity to plus infinity. Therefore, I am just making a one CDF, it is asymptotically touches one at infinity. So, this is the CDF of some continuous type random variable. Okay. 0 to infinity 1 minus f of x dx that is same as a area below 1 till f of x between the interval 0 to infinity. So, you can shade. So, this quantity the shaded quantity is nothing but the 0 to infinity of 1 minus f of x dx. 1 is a line f of x 1 minus f of x 0 to infinity that is the area be between the f of x with the line 1 that shaded area is a 0 to infinity 1 minus f of x dx. Next integration minus infinity to 0 f of x dx that means uh, this part. So, when you whenever the expectation exists for a continuous type random variable this sign is with the plus sign this sign is with the negative sign. So, that area plus sign area minus uh, that minus sign area that value is going to be the expectation value. 
Therefore, the expectation can be negative or positive based on uh, the area between uh, minus infinity to 0 that is going to be more than or less than the area between 0 to infinity of 1 minus f of x. Suppose, uh, x takes uh, x is a non-negative random variable that is a probability of x is greater than or equal to 0 is 1 using the, the first remark. Yeah, third remark sorry. If a probability of x is greater than or equal to 0 is 1 and the expectation a, if a expectation exists then the expectation of x is going to be greater than or equal to 0 that you can visualize minus infinity to 0 f of x dx that quantity is going to be 0 because the probability of x is greater than or equal to 0 is 1. Therefore, you will get the positive quantity from the first integration and the second integration values is 0. So, this can be visualized. There is another remark over uh, this uh, uh, remark. I started with the continuous type random variable. You can think of a discrete type random variable also. Suppose it takes only the positive values, then one can make a, if the expectation exists, exist, then the expectation is the same as a, in the summation form. Let a, x be a discrete type random variable with uh, values 0, 1, 2 and so on with taking values uh, 0, 1, 2 and so on and uh, e of x exist. Then we can find the expectation of x by the definition it is a uh, k times probability of x equal to k, where k is running from 0 to infinity. By using the previous remark, we can conclude that is same as summation of p of x is greater than k, where k is running from 0 to infinity. By using the previous result, summation k is equal to 0 to infinity probability of x is greater than k that is same as k equal to 0 to infinity 1 minus probability of x is less than or equal to k. I want to use a similar logic of a 1 minus f of x. So, this is a probability of x is a less than or equal to k is nothing but f of uh, random variable x at the point k. So, this is same as e of x is a summation over k is equal to 0 to infinity 1 minus f of x at the point k. So, if you see the previous remarks, when x takes the only the non-negative values, then the second integration vanishes. Therefore, you will get the first one. So, first I give the remarks for the continuous type random variable. For a discrete type random variable, this is going to be expectation of x provided x takes the value 0, 1, 2 and so on. So, this is also very important uh, remarks for the expectation. Now, we will move into the second uh, moment that is called variance. Let me give the definition. Let x be the x be a random variable with the expectation of x that you call it as a mu which exists. I am going to give the notation for E of x uh, that is mu which exists. The second order 
moment about the mean that is nothing but variance is defined as expectation of x minus mu the whole square that is denoted by variance of x. So, finding the value of expectation of x minus mu whole square that is going to be called as a variance that is called a second order moment about the mean. Since we are writing the right hand side expectation of x minus mu whole square that means the provided the right hand side exists. That means you can treat uh, x minus mu whole square where mu is expectation of x. So, x minus mu whole square you can treat it as the function of x the g of x. So, right hand side is nothing but uh, expectation of g of x where g of x is x minus mu whole square. You can use the previous result provided uh, the expectation of g of x exist then the expected value that expectation of g of x where g of x is x minus mu whole square that is going to call it as a variance of x. So, this second order moment uh, one can define after the existence of the first order moment. If the first order moment does not exist then one cannot define the second order moment about the mean. So, here I have given the second order moment about the mean later I am going to introduce a second order moment about the origin that is nothing but the expectation of uh, x square by making a mu 0 or uh, expectation of x square will be the second order moment about the origin. Similarly, one can define a nth order moment about the origin. So, now we will discuss the variance first then later we will go for the higher order moments. So, the variance of x that is denoted by V a or of x that is expectation of x minus mu whole square. So, as I said earlier you do not need to find out the distribution of x minus mu whole square as long as you know the distribution of x and the expectation of x exist and expectation of x minus mu whole square exist then the value is going to be expectation of x minus mu whole square is same as variance you can rewrite the variance of uh, x as first you have x minus mu whole square you can expand x minus mu whole square therefore uh, after expansion you will get uh, e of x square minus e of x uh, the whole square the e of x is same as uh, mu so whether you compute uh, expectation of x minus mu whole square or uh, you find out the expectation of x first that is mu whole square then find out a second order moment about the origin that is e of x square then this difference is going to be the variance of x. Similar to the expectation exist or not same way for some random variable the variance may not exist even though the first order moment exists. If the first order moment does not exist, you cannot define the second order moment. So, even the first order moment exists, there are some random variable in which the second order moment does not exist, therefore, the variance does not exist. So, we can go for uh, simple examples. The first example let x be a continuous type random variable with the probability density function f of x the same example 2 times e power minus 2 x where x is lies between 0 to infinity 0 otherwise. 
So, how to compute uh, variance of x for this problem is uh, variance of x the same as expectation of uh, x minus mu the whole square that is same as integration from minus infinity to infinity x minus mu the whole square f of x dx. In this problem, the mu is same as expectation of x which we got it already that is a 1 by 2. Therefore, this is going to be minus infinity to 0 the f of x is 0 therefore, you can directly go for 0 to infinity x minus 1 by 2 the whole square f of x is 2 times e power minus 2 x dx. We are not finding the distribution of x minus mu whole square then we are finding the expectation no we are uh, using a expectation of g of x which I said it in the remark. So, x minus 1 by 2 whole square probability density function which is greater than 0 between 0 to infinity therefore, minus infinity to 0 it vanishes. So, this is same as 0 to infinity of this if this quantity is going to be finite then the existence also taken care since x takes a non negative values you are finding this. If you do the simplification, you can get the value that is 1 by 4. If you do the simplification of this integration, you will get the value 1 by 4. Therefore, for the random variable which is a continuous type whose probability density function is 2 times e power minus 2 x when x lies between 0 to infinity, the mean is going to be 1 by 2 and the variance is 1 by 4 later we are going to conclude this is going to be exponential distribution with the parameter 2. So, the mean is 1 divided by the parameter and the variance is 1 divided by the square of the parameter. So, here the parameter is 2 therefore, it is 1 divided by 4. Let us go for a few remarks over the variance. The first remark uh, variance of a constant is 0, whereas the expectation of a constant is a constant. Variance means uh, what is the variation about the mean. So, here uh, the mean of a constant is a constant, therefore, there is no variation about the mean that is alpha therefore, the variance is 0. So, intuitively you can say the variance of constant is 0. The second remark variance of uh, x if it exists then that value is always uh, going to be greater than or equal to 0. If the variance exists for a random variable x, then the variance is always greater than or equal to 0. That is expectation of x minus mu the whole square is always greater than or equal to 0. This you can say by using the remarks on the expectation. You go back when uh, the random variable x whose probability is a p of x is greater than or equal to 0 is 1, then the expectation is going to be greater than or equal to 0. With that logic, e x minus mu whole square whose probability is always a uh, probability of uh, x minus mu whole square greater than or equal to 0 is 1 because it is a non negative random variable. Therefore, the expectation of x minus mu whole square is always going to be greater than or equal to 0. Because whether it is a discrete random variable or continuous type random variable, this is nothing but 
if it is a discrete it is a summation x i minus mu the whole square probability of x equal to x i and the probability mass function is greater than or equal to 0 x i minus mu whole square is a positive quantity therefore, uh, if it exists then the summation is going to be positive. If x is a continuous type random variable then x minus mu whole square probability density function integration from minus infinity to infinity again uh, integrand uh, is uh, greater than or equal to 0 therefore, uh, the uh, if the expectation exists sorry if the variance exists then this quantity is also going to be greater than or equal to 0. You can combine the remark number 1 and 2 in the form of a third remark if a probability of x takes a value alpha is equal to 1 that means, it is a constant probability of x takes a value alpha where alpha is a some number that is 1 then the mean is same as the mean of the random variable is same as the alpha and the variance of the random variable is going to be 0. That means, uh, for a constant random variable the expectation is same as constant and the variance is going to be 0 and this is a if and only if condition if the variance is 0 then you can conclude uh, that is a constant random variable. When I say constant random variable the probability of x takes the value that constant is 1 therefore, it is called a constant random variable. Later I am going to discuss in detail. So, here the remark is uh, if the variance is 0 you can conclude uh, the probability of x takes that constant is 1. If uh, constant uh, then uh, whose uh, expectation is the same and the variance is 0. Now, I can go to the fourth remark variance of uh, some constant times uh, x plus b if the variance exists if the variance of x exists that is same as uh, if you do the little calculation you can prove that is same as uh, a square times variance of x plus variance of constant is 0 therefore, uh, it is going to be a square times uh, variance of x whereas, uh, expectation of a x plus b that is a times expectation of x plus b here variance of uh, a times x plus b when variance of x exists then it is same as uh, a square variance of x because uh, variance of constant is 0. 